Good morning. How are you all today? So today is Wednesday the 27th of September and I'm out for a 8 kilometer easy run. This is just a recovery run that's been scheduled for today. And I have to say, training has been going pretty well. Um, I ran one of my best half marathons on Sunday, I mean Saturday, with the park run at the end. Not necessarily the fastest, but it was just really good in terms of how I felt and how I finished. So I didn't record that run, but I ran a one kilometer warm up, which was more of a toilet break. <laughs> and then it was straightened to 10 kilometers at six minutes, five seconds per kilometer. I had to slow down a lot for it. And there's parts around like six and seven K where I realized, oh, I'm doing 530, 540. So it's like, no, nah, slow it down, bring it back. And then I had to do 10 kilometers at 5.30 pace. Which to do at the end of a 10 kilometer block already, I was nervous and I had to go to the toilet. So halfway through that, I had to run into Hungry Jacks, use the toilet and keep going. Uh, I was using it for park run as well to finish the last 5Ks at the park run. So having people there getting that race mentality was really, really good. And I'm going to keep doing that, I believe. And even at the, during the park run, all bets were off, gone. <laughs> Uh, it was a case of, hey, I'm feeling good. And then I had a look and I'm like, oh shit, I'm doing a five minute kilometre or a sub five minute kilometre. It's like, no, slow it down. Hello, Magpie. Please do not swoop me. 22 and a half kilometres, roughly, for that run. And my half marathon time with toilet breaks, uh, not running quite as fast as I should be, or running faster than I should be, ended up being two hours, one minute, roughly, and 52 seconds. And yeah, felt amazing. And then I went back out for a walk to see Nick from work at the end of the park run. So it was really good. Anyway. It's hard to talk this long and keep going at an easy pace. My heart rate is still uh, bouncing between 128 and 131, so it's quite good. Ah, oh, good progress. So, that last segment that I was running, I had a water stop and a bit of a walk and had to wait for traffic. So my lap pace went down, I mean up whatever <laughs> and I was saying I was running like a six something kilometer felt like it <laughs> um, and then as I passed a couple of people my watch ticked over I'm like okay let's just keep this legs ticking over and it said I was running 5.30 <laughs> uh, today's goal is not to be running faster than 5.45 because it's supposed to be a recovery run. <sighs> so, my turnover rate for a sub two hour marathon is getting very close to my easy run pace, which is fantastic. If I can concentrate on losing some weight, because it has gone up, it would become even easier. 
So I'm getting close to my turnaround for today. And I'm just doing four kilometers out and turn around and go back. That's like 150 meters for my turnaround. But there's a water fountain a little bit up here. So I want to get some water and then turn around. So I think I'll be a few hundred meters over, but that's fine. I've got plenty of time having breakfast with mum today so I can get some bacon and egg rolls and a hot chocolate. <sighs> I've started a uh, Google spreadsheet for my training leading up to the 100 miles. So in December I'll be starting a 50 kilometer ultra marathon training program which will go for 16 weeks and then straight after that I might have a one or two week break just easy mileage and start the 220 kilometer training program good morning how are you two today Run 534s again. Slow down. So yeah, I think it's been awesome to write things down because me and my ADHD brain is gone forget about it. And that way I can keep myself accountable, get everything scheduled, maybe even book physio with Guy every month, put that down on the calendar. Ah, nearly at the water. Bye. Ah, refreshing. Ah, good to stay hydrated. I see you. 250 meters over. What's an extra half a K? Ah, someone will come back at me for that. <laughs> Anyway, whew, let's keep going. Pretty happy with this effort. I was just um, having a look at my watch before I stopped over a little bit more water and I was doing 530s again. Heart rate was 138. So I think that's really good. Um, yeah, progress. Sometimes the hard part is sticking to a slower pace. <sighs> this stretch along here, it's like the final kilometer. It's like, eh, hey, just get it done. And you have a look at the pace, 5.38. And it's like, no, it's supposed to be a recovery run for a reason to recover. And I was reading from a few articles and a few videos that your recovery run should be five to ten beats per minute after your heart rate lower than your easy run pace so easy run should be 140s recovery 130s hello so it's all about staying controlled what's that even now 544 pace for this lap Heart rate's 135, so that's not bad. <sighs> it does vary. I did have a pre-workout before this, which doesn't make sense <laughs> for an easy run. I think it's more about to just wake me up a little bit, get some blood flow going. Talking to my physio a few years ago, and he was saying, he doesn't like my heart rate getting so low just because I'm such a big guy, a lot of muscle, and my heart rate while at work was dipping into the 40s. And as he said, there's a lot of muscle and a lot of blood that has to go through my body to warm me up properly. So that's why 
sometimes it can take me five to ten kilometers to warm up in my good training maybe not ten but usually five k's a lot of my running friends know what it's like you go to a park run and it's like okay I'm warmed up now what do I do <laughs> go eat breakfast <laughs> yeah, go get a um, nice 1000 calorie big breakfast or something and yeah being a calorie offset of <laughs> 700 because you probably only burnt 200 calories during your run anyway it's about to hit eight kilometers workout ended so now that's what they wanted me to run that's what I've done so now I'm going to walk the rest of the way home there's a cool down average pace 602 so yeah my average pace was right for the run but uh, a few of the kilometers and instances not so much anyway today I'm trying something else as well I'll be going to the gym for some strength and conditioning I think I want to try and incorporate as many of those as I can so Monday Wednesday Friday uh, there's almost like an unwritten rule that for every one run you do at intensity you should be doing one strength and conditioning and after doing a lot of research on things and everything I'm really lacking balance and core so I'm working on like ankle strength it's like I've twisted my ankle so many times and it's really hard for me to balance on some exercises at the gym like single leg um, dead left dead dead lifts with a uh, thrust that was a new one that was incorporated the other day I really liked it but it was really hard um, even like some banded exercises so I'm going to focus on that next program I start I'm going to choose specifically the strength and conditioning on the runner app for running so hopefully that will give me some more motivation whereas right now I've just got an overall uh, strength one that I'm doing it's just an hour at the gym and I feel like it's going to be better than a lot of the exercises I just make up yeah the less I have to think about it and the more I can just look at something and just do that the better so tonight going straight from the gym to work and I'll be there for about an hour an hour and a half trying out another new program there's a lot of banded exercises tonight so we'll see how it goes anyway thanks for watching guys see you soon bye Hey everyone, so the last I recorded I was uh, off for a run in the morning, a nice easy 8km and it was going really well and after or during the day I just ended up feeling really shit so I ended up coming down with a bit of a cold it's been a few days since then I've recovered enough to have pushed for a fast 5k this morning as part of my deload week and I was quite pleasantly happy with the results uh, yeah so I'm gonna I've just finished doing some editing on a video and I'm gonna have a look at some more videos and see what else I can put up so yeah thanks for watching I've just actually uploaded one from a, a video from a couple of weeks ago and I'm gonna start working on one now and hopefully do a nice recording of a video tomorrow and see how we go all right thanks guys bye